back to the channel. Today we are on a new body of water. I uh, have never been in this bo uh, body of water before and it's got largemouth and smallmouth bass in it. So we're going to try and break this down today. Uh, I don't know, there's, there's so much uh, you can fish on this body of water. You guys will see here in a minute too. There's uh, pencil reeds, there's pads, there's shallow, there's deep. There's reed lines, deep weed lines, submerged weed lines, lots of stuff on this lake that we can fish. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. We'll see what it has to offer. There's, you know, being since there's smallmouth, we might go and hit up some uh, shallow, uh, some shallow humps here and try some top water early in the morning. Well, it's not really early anymore, it's about 7.30. But we'll try some, uh, some top water right away and then we'll probably go shallow and see if we can catch that uh, early morning shallow bite. And then maybe try out deeper again. Maybe we'll probably bounce back and forth and see what we can find. But uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of break this apart and maybe try out a couple new lures today. So come along for the adventure. <laughs> Not a big one though. He's got buddies with him though. There we are. Oh, yep, just about got me. Oh, now you've done it. Now he's in the carpet. Okay, hang on, bud. I gotta do you from the carpet first. Oh, I might have really messed up. I might have really messed up my carpet. <laughs> How dare you? There you go. <laughs> first smallie of the lake. Not a big one. Well, there's more down there. They, they were digging that jerk bait as long as I didn't mess up the hooks, but. Boom, right down there. He had a lot of buddies with him too, so. on another one but he's just a little guy here oh. stop okay just gonna have to let him go off the side here Just a little guy. Oh, I see what's going on. They're busting over there. There we 
go. Got another one. <laughs> They're just little though. They're small, smallies. These guys are dangerous. Really gotta watch these ones. There we go. Alright, got a better hold of them. These smaller fish are really, really dangerous, meaning that they're they will put a hook in your hand if you're not careful. Giants. Stop it. Oh, I felt the hook on that one. That wasn't the right one. There's a bigger one down there. Pretty small. Uh, wrapped up here. Hang on, buddy. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Something picked it up right away. Oh, 
There we go. Let's go that small. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a that's a better small mouth. It's like we're gonna need a net size small mouth. That's a big small one, folks. I did not expect this this guy. I've seen a bunch of small marks and then I get him. There we go, baby. Long. Kind of slimy though. I'm gonna dip him on what that slime is. I don't know what that slime was. Oh, it must be coming from him. Oh, wow, it's all over the place. This is probably the best idea of mine. Here, I'm gonna do, one, do this over the live well. Okay. It's three and a half pound smallmouth. All right, folks, this is a beautiful smallie. We're gonna let go and put right back down. Nice three and a half pound smallie, smallmouth bass. In a new lake I've never fished before. Ready? Oh, that's so beautiful. Love that. Love to catch them, but also love to wave them goodbye. Okay, well, I was going to try the hair jig, but the drop shot's been working pretty good. And they'll, they chase the jerk bait, but they don't commit. I guess I did have one commit to the jerk bait, but that was it. So we'll uh, keep running with the drop shot and cut the Ned Craw on there and We'll see, uh, see if we can get any other big ones. That was fun. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm fishing here. Just to show you where I caught that fish from. So here's the live scope. There's a fish right here coming up. They've been, they're hanging out right down here. I'm throwing up on top of this shelf here. And sometimes they're gonna rush up. They rush up to eat and then go back down. So sometimes I can see them rush up for it. Sometimes I can't. And then here it is here on the map. Right here is a drop off right over here. I haven't quite made it over this far. I'm not quite sure why my track is going way out this way. I didn't go that way, tell you that, tell you that much, but yeah. So we'll see here, we're on the point here. Comes up to a flat, there's weeds here. So weeds coming up and then flat. That's pretty much all I'm fishing right now, where I'm catching them at. I did catch a couple other ones down here. So the key right now is right off the ledge and throw up. We'll continue with that and catch some more and then maybe uh, pop pop around and do some largemouth fishing too. We got a bite. Oh, missed him. Another bite. There we go. Definitely not as big as the last one. <laughs> it's 
first out. Okay, there we go. Oh, he really had that hook. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Not a giant, but it's in the same spot, doing the same thing. So we'll uh, we'll keep after it and see what else we can get. But these flies, oh, are, oh, that might probably hurt just hurt worse than the fly. <laughs> They are biting. I want the fish to bite, not the flies. Oh, there we go. Look at an angry smallie. Oh my goodness. He's a leaper. Oh, digging. Probably a bad idea for a jerk bait in the net, but. But he got it in the eyeball. I'm sorry, dude. Maybe we can save it. Then get directly in the eyeball, just on the outside. And be careful here. Oh, we saved his eyeball. Oh, there we go. Change up spots, we went to a, a shallow hump out in the middle of the lake. I mean shallow, I mean like that shallow, that is, is two feet on top. I'm not seeing them on the graph there, I'm just casting up into the open there. We got one. A little bit bigger than some of the other ones that we've been catching, other than that three and a half pounder. But that's promising. We'll get back in there and there we can get another one here. He hit it with authority too, so he did want it. You can squad scout jerk bait. I love this color. It's uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Elegy bone. Elegy. I don't know. But yeah, love this color. Favorite color all around. Clear water anyway. There we go. Got one out deep. Coming up. Oh wow. This is a better fish. They are out deep, folks. They are not up shallow right now. Which makes sense because the sun. That's a nice smallie. Oh yeah. here for the net. There we go. Oh, he's dark too. Easy boy. Okay, don't spine me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, that kind of changes things for a little bit for smallmouth today. I mean, kind of caught them all over the place. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. It's hard for you to see with the sun in the shade, but here, yeah, switch hands. There we go. Beautiful fish here. I see what he weighs. He's not very big. Let's say maybe two pounds, two and a half. Oh, we got to zero out first. Yeah, beautiful. 
fish nice and dark usually they're that dark from being up shallow he was down in gosh i think he was down like 20 some feet yeah two and a half pounds two pounds eight ounces beautiful fish She's ready. There she goes. He, she. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I can show you guys what I found here. Well, yeah, you're not going to see it now. Maybe if I pan around, maybe I can find them again. There's right there. Okay, right down here. It's a sun glare, sorry. There is two fish right here. That's probably about 24 feet. There were a couple over in here too. Threw my drop shot way out came down and I had to let it sit there I had, to let it, I had to soak it for him oh see here's another fish right here it out a little bit deeper which makes sense it's sunny out so and uh, kind of pushes them out so huh we got one Got one of them. <laughs> oh, stop, bud. Stop, bud. Oh, man. You done? Come on. Got you. Oh, you got me too, bud. Okay. All right, well, yeah, I can see that. I can see this guy down there. He's just swimming around. That's that's crazy. This water is so clear. It's like 15 feet down. That's awesome. Nice looking, looking little fish. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, I broke off my drop shot, re-rigged. I put on a worm. Didn't get anything. We are floating off our spot now. I have to index my chilling motor again. Man, we really drifted off. That's all right. That's okay, we'll just do that. Okay, anyways, you know saying? I had to retie, put on a worm. Got no bites on it, got no interest. Put this craw back on. Started getting bites. Hey guys, all right, that last catch was pretty cool. It wasn't a big fish, but it was pretty cool how it went down. I could see him on the bottom of the lake, and it's four, I was at 14 feet at deep water, and you can see him that clear when, it, when it's calm out and the sun's out, so you can see pretty clear, or pretty far in clear water. That was pretty awesome, but we're gonna give it probably about maybe half hour or so, and then we're gonna switch to, uh, it'll be about noon, and uh, we're gonna switch to large, largemouth. We're gonna go uh, fish for some largemouth in them probably gonna split this video up so let's uh finish out this day or finish out this uh this video at next half hour and see if we can't pull out any more big smallies i can see some some more smallmouth oh my goodness there's a big one oh we got another little guy going there's a bigger one down there. There's a much bigger one. Stop. <clears throat> oh, he poked me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh man, there's there's a couple of big ones down there. I hope they, I didn't lose them now. I could see them swimming. Oh, let's try and find them. Oh, got him. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, 
That is awesome. Sight fish this fish too, folks. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, bud. Yeah, that hook is in the mirror. Oh, there you go. Just pop it off like this. Oh, there we go. Cool, nice little fish. All right, folks, let's get this beautiful fish back. I love these fish. It was an awesome bite. There he goes. Nice. He's hanging around for a little bit. Yep, there he goes. Right down to the bottom. Hey guys, that's, that's an awesome bite. <laughs> that's just that's so cool. I'm just, I'm just I'm just sitting here watching them swim around me, and then uh, I just see them. I just drop it to them, and they glide it. It's almost like um, not taking candy from a baby, but I guess something like that. I don't know. I don't know the right saying for that, but yeah, it's uh, that's pretty awesome. All right, guys. Well. That was a pretty fun little bite. We are going to, I'm going to now change tunes. And uh, it is a little past noon, I guess. Yeah, it's almost one o'clock. I just got done rigging up some, a couple of my uh, uh, largemouth rods. So I've got, I've, I made the switch. I've got some bait, some heavy baits or heavy duty baits there, a couple there. But uh, yeah, we had some fun, caught some smallmouth. I didn't cover anywhere near the, the amount of structure in this lake that the smallmouth are, are in so are, are, are near um so i mean it's uh there's there's a lot more to this lake we might have to come back out here and and really pick it apart more but what i want to do is uh i'm only going to be out here today so i'm going to get a taste of largemouth bite now it is kind of sunny out it's getting warmer out so they're gonna be a little bit harder to bite harder to get to bite so I think that's why I'm going to go heavy. I'm going to go into some uh, some heavy cover and see if we can pull any big bass out of there and see what we can find. I'm not exactly sure what this lake has for size, but I know it's got a largemouth on it, in it. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's going to do for this video. I'm actually splitting this up. Um, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do a new video for the largemouth. So that's it for this one. I really appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video for the largemouth bite.